This is a demonstration of the game of life. It's a game that was originated by John Conway in 1970. The rules are any live cell with fewer than two live neighbors dies as if caused by underpopulation. Any live cell with two or three live neighbors lives on to the next generation. Any live cell with more than three live neighbors dies <clears throat> as if by overcrowding. Any dead cell with exactly three live neighbors becomes a live cell as if by reproduction. likely get a different result every time. And there are, some of these end up with a repeating pattern. Like uh, Blinker, there's three that alternate horizontally and vertically. And they have some spaceships and other, other named figures that end up uh, and sometimes it ends up with four dots in a square as a stable configuration and as the last generation. Each time it changes, that's a generation. So this didn't survive. So we can try again. This is a, an 8 by 8 grid. And at the seventh generation, it became stable. There's no change. So that's an example of how you can end up with a stable situation. You can continue to, to loop through the logic, but it wouldn't change. The settings option allows you to change the number of dots, basically, and how many of the population you want to seed the grid with. If you completely fill the grid, in two generations, everything's dead because it's overcrowded. All you're left with is for the second generation is the four corners, and then after that, they die. So that's it.